guys, what's going on? It's Joe DI. Today is the first DIY project. Um, that's kind of funny, right? DIY. Anyway, um, what, what you need today is your Gorilla Tape and your cinder block and a pair of scissors. Uh, and what we're going to do, cinder blocks are an awesome tool. Uh, Jim Warren out in Colorado is a friend of mine. He runs the Center for Champions out there. Uh, he's all about grip strength. And grip strength is really one of the most important factors in training for a Spartan race. So even if you're great at climbing a rope, you're great at the traverse wall, you're great at all these obstacles, after 10 miles of, 10 miles of them, your grip just starts to deteriorate and then you start failing one after another. And that's kind of the classic pathology of a lot of burpees. So um, we need to train grip. Cinder blocks are a great way to do that. The only problem with them is they're not that user friendly. Um, they can destroy your car seats and your interior. They can destroy your hands. They can destroy your clothes if you're carrying them around. And so a lot of people kind of shy away from them. Um, but there's a solution. So get your Gorilla Tape, get your scissors. And the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of make a little ball of tape, all right? And what we're going to do with this, you can see i got a head start, is just kind of go out over all the surfaces, especially the corners of your block, all right? And get all of the dust off. So I kind of already did this cinder block a little bit, but we want to get all of that dust off, all right? Because as you can probably tell, we're going to be putting tape on the cinder block. But get all of it off. So you can see I kind of already did that. Then, you can see I cut a whole bunch of strips. Cut some strips that are actually a little bit too short. Um, and so these strips, you know, this center block I believe is um, eight inches or so. Um, you want to cut the strips a little bit shorter than that so that you can actually, when you stick it on, right? And I'm gonna do one of the inside ones. So when you stick it on, it's reinforcing those corners, but it's not kind of overhanging the center block because we don't want a big mess like that right now. that are actually a little bit too short for the cinder block. And if it can bake in the sun while you're doing it, even better. All right, so when you're doing this, Cut some long strips for the long edges, some five inch or so strips for the short edges, and then, if you can see, I didn't cut any extras. Cut another piece here. And some kind of small strips like this. And what we're gonna do with those is kind of just go over these little edges. So that the whole, all of the corners and all of the edges are all reinforced, all right? Get after it, I'm gonna get after mine, and then we'll be back in 20 seconds. And we're back. All right, so guys, I kinda covered um, almost every conceivable edge with tape. Now, all of the tape is actually a little bit short, so I didn't want to go into the corners, because then you can, you can actually start to peel, and, um, and then you can lose that whole strip. So, when we do something like this, then I have my little tape ball that I used to sand the, the block itself. And what I'm doing is actually, going over all of the areas that I just taped. All right. And this is just to really make sure that we are good. Don't forget the inside. Then, now, the corners are really what's gonna take a beating. So I have a bunch of little ones, little pieces, that I'm gonna begin to do the corners with. All right, so I'll kind of put two on each corner. One going this way, one going that way. And I'm gonna kind of do this all the way around. Can you see, can you see it well? We'll get a close up here. So I'll take one of my little strips and it goes that way and another one and it goes that way. And I can even take my little tape ball and just really kind of get that good and sturdy. All right, 
So I pretty much got them off. Now I'm actually just going to cut a few more strips. And use them for this main area. And I'm literally just going to go like this. going to try to make sure that that is nice and on there. And this is why we're using Gorilla Tape. Duct tape would be uh, not giving us what we need. Gorilla tape's a little more expensive, but for stuff like this, talk about sticking to a dusty cinder block. Duck will only go so far. All right, good. So guys, take a look at my block. Hopefully you've done even better. Um, but every conceivable edge that I'm going to be ripping when I start training with this thing uh, is going to be pretty reinforced. All right. Now, kind of the moment we've all been waiting for, we're just going to go to town. We're just going to cover this thing with tape. All right, now that we have our, our base, I am literally just going to go strip by strip. All right. I started right at the edge. Hey guys, what's going on? So we've, we've taped this thing up. We added a few Spartan stickers. Uh, when you're doing the corners, I found some yellow tape, so I decided since the uh, TD Gardens in the background with the Bruins play. We might as well have a little Bruins vibe here. So when you're doing the edges of your finished, uh, your finishing coat, uh, you kind of want to cut it like this, and then kind of take that down real tight, both sides, and then what we'll do is fold this down and kind of go right over it, and that should give you kind of decent, decent edges. All right. Hopefully you got some Spartan stickers you can throw on there. I also decided to keep um, a little bit of my inside uncovered. Um, and so when I'm doing exercises, whatever it might be, whether I'm just carrying it around, or you can even use this thing like a kettlebell, um, I wanted the inside to be a little bit rugged just so my hands get some of that toughness. All right, I think that's it, guys. Have fun. If you have any questions, post them to comments. And uh, enjoy your champion block. That's what we're going to call it in honor of Jim Warren. It's a champion block. So get after it, comment, post, hashtag diehard and enjoy. This week's training is going to all use the champion block.